this video I just want to give you an update about an interesting feature that Facebook has added to the ads manager that you can use to help you compare your ads to your competitors ads. So what I'm going to show you allows you to directly compare how much your ads are costing and your results are costing versus how much your competitors ads are costing. So this is obviously extremely useful if you're looking to scale or if you're looking to optimize your current campaigns. You can take a look at this report that Facebook is now giving you and you can decide if there is room for you to decrease your cost per result or if you're already pretty well optimized and therefore ready to scale. So I did make another video recently with an update from Facebook which wasn't too friendly to advertisers where they basically removed location targeting options that we all use specifically local businesses. And if you want to check that video out, I'll leave a link to it in the description. But this update is actually quite advertiser friendly. It helps us as advertisers to compare off our results versus competitors results and make key decisions based on those. So without further ado, I wanna jump into my ads manager into some active client accounts and actually show you how to find this information and how to use it. So here I am in one of my active client accounts that I've been running for quite a number of years now. So to see this information from Facebook, you wanna go onto this left-hand menu and you can see here it says ads reporting. So you wanna just click on that. Okay, so that opens this ads reporting page. You can see any custom reports that you've made are in here, but you also have now this new tab, which is called personal insights. So if you go ahead and click on personal insights, it will give you just that. So what you can see here is benchmark reports, which is the new feature that Facebook has started to introduce across some accounts, not all accounts yet. This is based on individual ad sets in your campaigns and each ad set will get one of these benchmark reports. And what it tells you, as you can see here, is how much your ad set is costing and then comparing that to competitors and very similar ad sets. So if you click on see report for one of these to get a bit more of a detailed view. So now here we are inside the detailed look at one of these reports and it gives you a lot more information. So as you can see here, the headline of the report for this one is that your cost per on Facebook leads is 78% lower than similar ad sets. So obviously for this client of mine, we're doing really well compared to the average competitor in this niche spending a similar amount of money. So where do we get this information from? Well, it says here at the bottom, the cost per on Facebook leads of this ad set compared to the median cost on Facebook leads for similar ad sets run by your peers. So in an earlier iteration of these reports, Facebook did actually by name and Facebook page indicate who they've identified as your competitors. From what I can see, they've removed that feature now. Maybe there were some complaints from advertisers that it's too invasive, but I can tell you from experience that the competitors that they identify automatically are very, very accurate from ones that I've seen in the previous iterations where they actually give you the competitors' names, they were all extremely accurate. They were all actual competitors for this particular client. How can you use this information as an advertiser to encourage decisions for your own campaigns and your own marketing? So for example, if I come into this and I'm looking at this benchmark report for this and active ad set, and I see that our ad sets cost per lead is about £1.88, and our competitors are spending £8.53 per lead, it obviously tells me that our ads are performing much better than similar advertisers in similar industries spending a similar amount of money. So what can I do with that information? Number one, I can feel pretty good about myself. We're performing better than our competitors. But number two, if we're thinking about can we optimize further, is there much more that we can get from these ads or ad sets? Should we invest money in more creative development to try and drive those lead costs down? If I was looking at this, I can easily present this to a client, make an informed decision that potentially we don't need to push this any further. We may have hit a point where it's as optimized as it's going to be. And that then gives you the confidence to say, okay, so we don't need to worry too much about the creatives at this stage and trying to push the price down further. But what we can do is start to scale 
with this a very good cost per lead that we have. So it's obviously extremely valuable information and it's extremely useful for you when it comes to scaling your campaigns and understanding where you're at with your results. Are your results good compared to your competitors? Similar or are they much worse? And do you need to focus more on your creatives and driving those costs down? So that's just one ad account example. Let me show you another ad account example with another feature that Facebook has added just to draw attention to the fact that they're now giving you these personalized reports. I just want to take a quick moment here to talk about our done for you services, which we've recently launched from Lead House UK, as you can see on the board behind me there. So if you are a business owner and you're running your own Facebook ads and you're spending at least 2K per month, but you want to take those results to the next level with everything managed for you personally by me and my agency, go to our webpage here, www.leadhouse.co.uk forward slash done for you, or you can just find the link on the homepage. Simply click on book a free strategy session now. That'll take you to our Calendarly. You can book yourself in and it's just a quick 30 minute chat, absolutely free, no obligation. Me and you talking about how we can improve your results through Facebook and Instagram advertising and to find out if we're going to work well together or not. So back into this client's campaign view. You can see here that Facebook has now started alerting you to high performing ad sets and this will link back to your benchmark ads report as we've just been looking at. So it's a really nice feature that they've introduced to let you know, hey, this ad set is high performing. So for you, you might just see the cost per lead and think, hmm, maybe we can do better than that. Facebook is now automatically adding in this little box to tell you, hey, you're doing a good job compared to your competitors. This is performing really well. So in this dialogue box, they're basically telling you, as I've just said, to scale this ad set. You might as well take advantage and put more budget in there and get more results at this bargain cost. And that's all for today's video. I hope that was helpful. I hope you got something you can use from it. If you did like it and enjoy it, feel free to give me a like and a subscribe. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.